up, the class of 2019 takes a trip through North Penn High School in preparation for their sophomore year. Some of North Penn's finest athletes commit to their respective colleges. And North Penn celebrates National Autism Awareness Month. It's April 15th and you're watching Mornings. this edition of Mornings. I'm Maddie Heilweil. And I'm Julie Ward. Today is April 15th, 2016 and a C day here at North Penn High School. Mr. Brumball is back with a question in honor of Autism Awareness Month. Remember to email your answer to npentv at npen.org. Here's your question. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumball Challenge. In honor of Autism Awareness Week, I've got a question for you. Which hedge fund multimillionaire, formerly diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, successfully predicted the subprime mortgage collapse and they made a movie about him? What's his name and what's the movie? The answer when we get back. As the class of 2016 prepares to say goodbye and go their separate ways, the class of 2019's journey here at North Penn has only just begun. The future sophomores got a chance to roam the unusually hallowed halls of the high school, meeting teachers and getting first-hand advice from veteran students about everything that North Penn has to offer. Elementary school students from the North Penn School District were in for a given sneak preview of the NPHS production of Once Upon a Mattress. One, two. So this thespian event was the elementary extravaganza and uh, we had kindergarten through sixth grade come and uh, experience the Once Upon a Mattress show. Just a little taste of it, but also they got to play games and face paint and do balloon animals and it was a big hit. I think tonight went amazing and probably my favorite part was seeing all the kids get dressed up and they were so excited to be princes and princesses. North Penn's production of Once Upon a Mattress will be here before you know it. The show will run from April 28th through April 30th at 7 p.m. with a Sunday matinee at 2 o'clock. Get your tickets now because you won't want to miss the musical event of the year. Everybody give one loud clap and a genius bell to 8th grader Samuel Lee, who makes the daily pilgrimage to North Penn for Latin One during first period. Sam not only gained an award of distinction for his performance on the National Latin Exam, he knocked it out of the park, joining the .25% of students across the country who earned a perfect score. Way to go, Sam! Also, congratulations are in order for JROTC student Cadet SMS Cotty and Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Sultana have been selected by the Military Order of the World Wars to participate in a three-day leadership course at Valley Forge. Cadets reported to Valley Forge earlier in the week. Three North Penn athletes sign letters of intent for the colleges that they will attend. Corey Smith will attend Eastern Michigan for swimming and Michaela Giuliani and J.J. Metchler will attend the University of the Sciences, both for basketball. The three athletes participated in a press conference attended by their families, coaches, and principal, Mr. Bauer, and athletic director, Mr. Bartle, stressed that high school sports is a means of education and that the next level athletics will be challenging. Congratulations to all of the athletes on their success. The FBLA attended the state conference and competitions this week. 21 students placed within the top 10 in their events. Casey Corelli was elected as the state secretary and the entire organization placed 10th in their state's outstanding chapter category. Nine of the students have qualified to represent North Penn at the national conference in Atlanta this summer. Congratulations to all who competed. Eric Biteman is back to give you the lowdown on everything you need to know here at North Penn. Eric? <music>
Thanks, Maddie. All 10th grade students interested in joining the National Honor Society should meet in the green section of the auditorium during 9th period on Tuesday, April 19th for a meeting, where you will learn about the requirements for joining the National Honor Society in September of 2016. Listen up, Minithon participants. There will be a mandatory meeting on Tuesday, April 19th in the Audion. Attendees can choose whether to attend the 2.30 or 6 p.m. meeting. Hey, seniors, interested in performing in Reflections on June, June 8th? Share a video audition of your performance or act via Google Drive on YouTube linked to npreflections2016 at gmail.com to showcase your talent and express your gratitude and memories for your four years here at North Penn. The deadline is May 13th, so hurry up. Also, prom ticket sales have begun, and starting on Monday, April 18th, the ticket price will increase to $80 per ticket, so make sure to purchase yours today. I'm Eric Biteman, and you've been Lowdown. Now back to the desk. As many of you may know, April is National Autism Awareness Month, and one of North Penn's very own students is on a mission to spread a very important message. My name is Ben Hartramp. I'm a junior here at North Penn High School, and I'm also on the autism spectrum. April is Autism Awareness Month, one in 66 people are diagnosed with autism. Boys are four times more likely to have it than girls. Autis autism affects their communication, social skills, and behavior. 25% with autism are nonverbal and do not speak at all. Hi, Ben. How are you? Um, are, are you going to a football game tonight? The other 75% need time to process what they have to hear about and we hear before they respond. Hey Ben, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. Hey, are you going to are you are you going to the football game tonight? Yes, I am. Um, which section are you going to are you going to be sitting at? North Penn Pride. I'm sitting in the student section. Nice. Eye contact is very hard for a person with autism. It's not good idea to try to force to look at you. Just because they are not looking doesn't mean they are not listening. What's everyone doing this weekend? Um. Hmm, I have to work. What's your favorite sports? I love, I love the Steelers, but... Every person with autism is unique and special. Like Steven Source said, if you met one person with autism, you have met one person with autism. Jeez. It's Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah, you're a great artist, so, right? Sorry. Say hi. How are you doing today, Max? Um, good, good, good. I like your drawing. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. And like Rosemary Carlsworth said, not being able to speak is not the same as you having anything to say. Yesterday afternoon, the Knights baseball team bested Penridge, beating them 7-3. to three. North Penn's biggest fan and an honorary member of yesterday's team, Ben Hartramp, sang his rendition of the national anthem and threw out the game's first pitch. Ben is live in the studio with Mr. Monero to discuss yesterday's events and National Autism Awareness Month. Mr. Monero? Good morning, North Penn High School, and good morning, good morning. the mayor of North Penn, <laughs> Ben Hartran. Thank you, Mr. Monero. Ben, first of all, you were awesome yesterday. Thank you very much. And shout out to Mr. Jones and everybody on the track and all the lacrosse team. Yes. Everybody on the entire athletic complex stopped to listen to you belt out the national anthem. <laughs> yes. And I think they heard you all the way across Thomas and Township. Yes, they did. Great job, Ben. So, Ben, it is Autism Awareness Month, and that was a great video you put together. You want yes. to tell us a little bit about Autism Awareness Month? Um, so, I wanted to um, make a video this year to talk April's Autism Awareness Month. I wanted to make a video this year to explain about autism. And I wanted to thank some of my friends um, who helped me with the video. Mm -hmm. um, and. Um, and with the awesome acting skills, people with on the autism spectrum and, and without on, and without with without the autism spectrum. Sure. And they did a great job. And I wanted to thank Cam Andrew man and Andrew the cameraman and Mr. Gilmore for helping me with this project. Good guys. And uh, by the way, I saw my friend Noah Ziegler in there. Yes, also and my friend uh, Nick Oentrio. Yes, excellent. Um, so Ben, today. It's a big day. You've been looking forward mm -hmm. to this for a long time. What's going on today during the lunch? pretzel sale? Don't forget North Penn. Buy your pretzels during all lunch periods today. They're a dollar a piece in the cafeteria courtyard. And there's going to be a whole pretzel truck. Out yes, there, right? and they're going to be baked right out of the oven. And Ben, I have a very important question for you. What is the best part of a soft pretzel? The middle. You taught me that last year. Yes, it is the middle. So don't anybody take the middles out of my pretzels today. <laughs> Ben, good luck at the pretzel sale today. Awesome job yesterday. And by the way, I think you threw a strike on the first Yes, pitch, I right? did. All right, Ben, great job, man. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. North Penn, have a great weekend. Send it back to the desk. Let's check in with Mr. Ramsey for this week's Weekly Word. Think different. You remember that Apple computer slogan? Well, our word this week is neurodiversity. 
Its literal meaning is the diversity of human brains and minds. That's it. But it may also refer to the neurodiversity paradigm, which is a specific perspective or framework for understanding neurological differences such as autism spectrum, ADHD, and others. Unlike the pathology paradigm, which views these conditions as diseases or disorders, the neurodiversity paradigm views these conditions as part of the normal range of variation in how brains function. And importantly, this view recognizes that there are benefits as well as difficulties that come with each way that a brain might be wired. This is not merely recognizing that an individual might be uniquely talented despite their autism or other neurodivergence. It's saying that in some individuals are distinctly gifted because of their autism or other neurodivergence. Finally, neurodiversity can refer to the neurodiversity movement, which is a social justice movement for civil rights, equality, respect, and inclusion of neurodivergent people. All right, North Penn, think different. We'll see you next week. There is only one place to be from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., and that's the International Spring Festival held right here at North Penn High School. The festival includes international foods, music, entertainment, and a health fair, and tons of children's activities. There's amazing music and food all day long in the gymnasium, cafeteria, courtyards, and throughout the halls. The festival is celebrating its 25th year organized by volunteers in the North Penn area and the North Penn staff. Admission is free, parking is free, but the experience is priceless. Let's check in with Mr. Brumball to find out this answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. The hedge fund multi-millionaire who predicted the subprime mortgage collapse was a guy named Michael Burry. And the movie they later made about his life was called The Big Short, starring Christian Bale. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. The winner of this week's Brumball Challenge is Mr. Swindell. That's all for this edition of Mornings. I'm Maddie Hyovile. And I'm Julie Wirt. We leave you with an incredible video made by Junior Tom Schmidt to showcase the many reasons why we love North Penn. Something about Morgan. He's an upstanding guy. This is learning at its finest. That's what we strive to do, and that's what we strive to prepare you for. The North Penn High School Thespian Troop 5464 High School Chapter for Broadway Cares Equity Fights 8. Welcome to the 2016 Colors of Pride Black History Month Assembly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2015 2016 Republic Night. These teachers sitting here with you today, they are teaching you how to learn, how to integrate information and ideas. They want you to see a concept from every angle, from above, from below, from the front, from the back. Hello. 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 Hello and welcome to this special edition of Morning. I'm Eric Wideman, and you've been low down. Good morning, welcome to the Weekly Word. How was your today? She didn't know that? Now you do. We are proud to announce to you the 2015 Homecoming King, Mr. Chris Jeffries. This is not one step into an unknown, but this is every step we have taken. I believe we live in a time not of extraordinary challenges, but rather extraordinary opportunities. Saying goodbye to one thing must inevitably mean saying hello to another.